watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters. At this place in history, we're at the Vermont Military Museum and Library at Camp Johnson, and we're chatting this week all about the Mercy Train. We've got one of the cars behind us, but we're missing Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society, who's actually waiting for us at the History Center in Barrie, so we're going to hop on the interstate, head on down there, and catch up with him. All right, here he is. We found Steve. <laughs> we're at the History Center in Barrie, and we're all suited up and ready to talk about the Mercy Train. What is that? Yeah, so as those people who speak French know, merci means thank you. I got so that one. <laughs> there, there you go. So we say train. So you mm -hmm. saw the train car. We did. Right. So there were 49 of those train cars, and they were packed full of stuff as thank you gifts to the people of the United States. We're immediately following World War II. So this train came over in 1949, but okay. right after World War II, um, you know, of course, we had everything our military did during the war, but the United States sent a ton of aid to France, and a lot of it came in trains. And so the government said, let's send something to the U.S. So the government provided the trains, but mm -hmm. the people and the businesses and the religious organizations of France, they packed it full of thank you gifts. So they collected all these items, packed these cars, brought them to the U.S., and then what? So there were 49 cars, mm -hmm. so there were 48 states at the time, okay. and then the 49th car was split with half of the goods going to Hawaii and half going to Washington, D.C. So the New England cars came all together and kind of split up as they went into each state, and it came up to Montpelier. And there were big receptions around the car, local leaders came, the governor was there. I, I don't know how best to describe it, but everyone, you know, kind of picked something to take home with them. So there's pieces of this gratitude train or items scattered around Vermont. But when that was all done, um, they boxed everything up and put everything that was left in the Vermont Historical Society. Can we look at some of the items? Absolutely. So we have a few pulled. I'll show you a couple of my favorite pieces. All right. Where to start? Well, let's start with this book of ours. We don't know where this came from. It could have come from a monastery. It could have come from a church or a private home. These are very rare. That's completely hand done with gilding on it. Absolutely gorgeous. I also like this little clock over here. And what's nice with the clock is that we still have the label from it. Here is the logo uh, for the Merci train. And it says, who is this clock from? They lived in Paris, we can see that. And that maybe a little note here. So this is a piece of the Arc de Triomphe, which, you know, as you know, is that big monument uh, in the middle of Paris. And sure. Hitler shot some artillery at it for fun and knocked pieces off. It came in this box, and you can see the label mm -hmm. uh, from the Merci train on the outside of the box. And then it had a note inside saying what it is. So I see a couple of boxes that are labeled toys. It's piqued my interest. Can we look at those? Yeah, well, let's look at the one on top here. Um, so as we said, individuals gave things, churches gave things, businesses also gave things. And so the Renault car company, which as we all know makes full-size cars, right. gave a whole box of toy cars into every train. These are absolutely amazing in that they're all in their original packaging, really never been opened, never been used, and there's a whole box of them How just cool in is pristine that? condition. And uh, it's the, the box is full of these cars. It's the same car, but they're all different colors. Oh, fun. And no, I have not wound one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I tried running it. That's really cool. At this place in history.